All right, it's 45 degrees this week, and we're prioritizing the gym before bike rides, so good timing. Sprouts, trying to explain to y'all motherfuckers who don't get it how to get on the Sprout game once again. We'll get into it later. I have no idea that I'm recording in slow motion. Gonna get that protein swirling up in there, and I'm gonna drink it down. Gotta pour it out into a glass. You know you gotta spill some because it's early in the morning. Drive my ass to the gym. Come home, make a couple of fucking Ted McMuffins up in this bitch. Ship this drop. Check in with Omar, who's chilling, doing good, recovering. Get in the office, do some work. You already know. Motherfucking grab myself another goddamn piece of food, which is a wrap, turkey. Eat that up, because it's got my fresh grown sprouts on it. Okay, so now we're not on slow-mo. I had no idea. One, we were on slow-mo, and two, I have no idea all the things that I said. We talked about sprouts, growing them, things of that nature. 12.10, I'm eating again. My wrap is lavash. Bread, chicken, four ounces of chicken, some sprouts that I grew my goddamn self, and some avocado. Well, guacamole, not avocado. So all I do now is eat. I cooked the fucking thing too long, and now it's cracked. It's still fire, though. That was good. So the other day, when I was in slow-mo, I tried to explain, because quite a few people have asked me to elaborate on sprout situation. So, hey, you can order a kit, and it'll come with this, and a mason jar, and a lid already, and, you know, these little angled joints, and blah blah blah. but this shit's too small, bro. Shouldn't order the kit, and I knew that, but I'm impatient. So, what I did, I went and got bigger bottles. Fairly large container. You want organic sprouts. Definitely organic. A mason jar with a lid, or a cheesecloth. Like so, cheat this so it can drain out. You want to rinse it twice, three times a day. I use filtered water because I don't want to use the tap water because it's some hippie shit. Ta well, the tap water is not hippie shit, the filtered water. We got to be hippie on this. We're growing sprouts. Inversion situation. These lids that don't actually fit those jars, these have little prongs. So you can invert, it's just sit it straight up and it won't hit the ground. It won't sit in its own water. Pretty clever. From the sprout house. I just got a mixed bag. All of these will sprout. You know, obsessive me. So I got this big ass box of sprouts. We got fenugreek, radish sprouts. All kind of, enough sprouts in there for like a year, dog. Yeah, I mean, that's it, dog. Jar, water, rinse. Takes two or three days. You rinse them every day, I do it in the morning, and then three or four days to sprout, maybe, depending on the sprout. Let's say five days max. You just take them out of the jar. You wash them again. You wash them in the sink. I showed you all this in the last vlog. Then you put them in the fridge. This is a refrigerator. Put them inside of there. And then you eat them as you want. If you're not gonna eat them that fast, some them in the freezer. It'll last five days in the fridge, an extra five days in the freezer. That's all I need to know about sprouts, I feel like. That's everything. Have fun. Knock yourself out. I ain't ate lettuce in weeks, bro. So no bike ride yet this week. We're gonna go on one tomorrow because it's an off day from the gym. King Kong print because uh, this is the only thing that is most likely dropping for the King Kong collection. I've been working on the King Kong, obviously. You saw me paint it. But usually what I do, create something and then I put it out on a garment. Because the garment is generally the cheapest way to get people your artwork. Uh, prints of high quality are expensive, more expensive. Shirts are generally cheaper, you know? It lasts a little less time usually, but is cheaper um, and rewarding because you get to wear it around and people get to see it. Art you hang on your wall and only the people who come over see it pays off differently, you know? So... I've been wrestling with the last couple of weeks back and forth. One of the things that's been stressing me the fuck out is the King Kong drop because I want to obviously put it on garments, but I don't think that it's going to happen. And there's actually two designs. You got the AI King Kong that I worked on and the painting are both so crazy. And I could simplify the AI one if I wanted to in color and get it down cheaper, but there's a little bit of integrity because it kind of is based off of the original. But anyway, essentially, long story short, without beating around in the bush, I would have to raise the prices. Like, yeah, like, I mean, almost double. Like, literally, t-shirts would have to be like 60 $65 and hoodies would have to be like 160 180 for me to make a profit after doing 11 colors front and back of t-shirts hoodies this is that and the third I don't want to raise prices on people during a fucking global pandemic uh I guess global pandemic is redundant but pandemic and not offer anything different like if it was going on a garment that was more expensive and more durable or if there was a new printing process that was just like you know super slick and more durable and we could make it happen and make it work direct to garments not happening because i don't i just don't like the way that that shit looks i don't like the way it feels i don't like quality i mean the quality of that stuff is in my opinion way lower than even screen printing at least from what i've seen if someone out there can prove me wrong prove me wrong so vinyl printing is a little bit different but the stretch vinyl is just like words and stuff that's different like we've done stuff for a big graphic i feel like screen printing is king 
at least in the way it looks. But this graphic's not even going to translate, you know, exactly the same because it's so detailed and so crazy. In a time like this right now, I don't really feel justified. I should just do something else and skip over doing the King Kong drop. I just, it's just so expensive. It's incredibly insane to charge people that much money for screen printed shirt. As of right now, there is nothing else. We must go upstairs and get some work done. Good morning. It is, uh, so I don't remember where we left off last night. I know I was doing work. I know I ate like probably about like two more times. <laughs> I still didn't hit all of my calories. I, I got like 3,400 calories yesterday and then today was still down half a pound. So uh, yeah, I have no absolute zero complaints about what is happening right now currently. We cannot go on a bike ride right this second. We're going on one today. 40 some degrees outside right now. <laughs> Even though I have leg and arm warmers, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait until like 10 a.m. Look at this. Look at all those sprouts. It's gonna even get even, it's gonna fill this whole jar. Yeah, I might as well go ahead and rinse them. And voila, two egg sandwiches. So that meal was 524 calories, 39 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbon, 14 grams of fat. That's kind of high in calories for like a diet meal, but not for the amount of calories I have to eat. If I eat seven meals a day of 500 calories, it's 3,500. But you can alter this. You could use a different cheese, fat-free cheese, take away one of those calories. Not really, actually. The fat-free cheese has more. It has 45 calories a serving, but you could use less. Anyway, you could do something with the carbohydrates, 280 calories and 54 carbs. So you could easily change that up by using uh, a different, English muffin. You don't have to use regular eggs if you wanted low fat. You could just use egg whites up all that. It's really just about hacking. Stop trusting these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? These, I don't really love them, but these are only 100 calories. So you would already be able to shave off. You'd be able to shave off mad cows, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mad cows disease. All right. I'm done being stupid. Just trying to put you on. I gotta wait for the bike. We gotta wait for the sun to come out, like noon, 7.45. So I'm gonna have to do it myself right now. Just got home from a nice little 20 clip bike ride. Legs are feeling great, especially compared to how they have been feeling going every single day. My legs are a little sore and we train them again tomorrow, so I'm interested to see how we recover between now and then. But the bike ride was a lot easier. Traffic lights everywhere, so it doesn't matter, but a lot easier on the legs. A lot less like of that lactic acid build feeling, but still a little faster and a little more wattage. So I'm into it. I'm about to make myself a motherfucking like a little quick protein shake just because I don't feel like cooking. Protein, metabolic drives is what I use. I've used forever, like forever. I'll probably be trying a bunch of new flavors. Not flavors from them, but like different companies. I really just like chocolate, but I don't know. I've been seeing some stuff out there. We're gonna put a little dextrose in here, which is just basically fucking sugar. Not that much. What are we looking for? Almond milk. Why is it on the fridge? Because it hasn't been open. Almond breeze, my G's. Cup of that, we're gonna be good to go. Some ice. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. We got some mail. More Garmin, Garmin God in the building. This is the front headlight that goes with the uh, tail light. First off, the seat is actually incredible. It's been really, really comfortable. Especially after today when I got back on the bike, it was amazing, it was great. This Garmin is really, really, I mean, I don't know if it's like you need this top of the line model or whatever, but I really like this with the combo, with the traffic alerting, and this headlight's only gonna make it better because it adjusts automatic brightness control, son. So, and that actually clips in like right underneath here. Like right there, it'll all be connected, all tucked in, all nice. I didn't actually order this. Uh, I did order it. I ordered it at the same time as the tail light. It just didn't come in until now, which is great. Hour's over, big surprise. I'm about to eat some goddamn food. It's eating chill time, son. Get a little work, a little drawing. Prepared to start these paintings. This probably this weekend is when I'm gonna start. Got a lot of other stuff this week. I just woke up from a nap. Got a text from Dirty Earn that says you wanna go gamble, so clearly. We're gonna go get dirty earn and gamble. Duh. <laughs> you already know the camera's on, right? I have fucked up. I figured, I was like. No, not even Boo's uh, fucked up. Uh, I'm fucked because I took my vitamins oh. and like one of them <laughs> didn't go all the way down and they're all like, I didn't eat today yeah. and I just smoked this blunt and I feel like getting, crazy, kind of like a, I got a puke. Getting but, a rush of vitamin D, huh? I don't, I'm, yeah, that, C, D, I'm getting a rush of everything. Like, oh, alphabet, vitamin alphabet. Oh. It's, it's overwhelming. This blunt, like I want to put it out, but I feel like it's the only thing keeping me fucking together. Mm. <laughs> it's not them short. 
shorts. Neon <laughs> combo, <laughs> I dog. I see that. I see that. It's a big winner. I got combo. dead. I the wags on. Oh, shit. Like, I'm, I'm out here tonight. I was expecting you to either be wasted or to have on a shoe that made you want to beat your ass. Which casino are we going to? We, so, um, what? yeah. What happened was I went to get weed today. Oh. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I went to get weed today and uh, it was 160 an ounce, but I took out 400. So oh. You already know. The tip was like 200, now I got this 200 in my pocket. Okay. I got nowhere to put it. Yeah, and then Brandy's. It's free like, money. I mean, essentially, yeah. it came out of the ATM, yeah. so it doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the text was Brandy's gone. Let's go, <laughs> let's go gamble. All right, I put 100 in. I took 203 out. How much you put in? I want to talk about it. There ain't nothing to show, though. I can tell you that. Oh, God. It's my favorite thing. Give me my money. Give me my money. Good morning. It is uh, Thursday. Last night, we gambled. We gambled. I won. Earned loss. We're going to a new gym. Hold on, I'm going to fill my water bottle. We are a little after six. We're headed to a new gym because we're going to try out this Lifetime Fitness that is enormous. I really, I really do not, really don't like my gym it's too small people all on top of you the machines are old as fuck which sometimes an old machine is good i like some old older machines but this this instance uh it's not that chill i don't really love it so we're gonna go check out this lifetime fitness we're doing it though we're feeling good i didn't sleep very good last night too much too much going on in my mind when i'm trying to sleep you know what i'm saying all right gym time holy shit we just blasted our motherfucking legs boy blasted and this gym is amazing i've worked at a lifetime fitness in silver spring maryland before i used to go there take bong hits in the parking lot and work out but this is before weed was legal so i would get kicked out like pretty much every time they'd be like you can't work out here smelling like weed so this brings back some memories this gym's amazing i mean they got everything they got equipment i never even seen before super excited uh to work out here my fucking gym sucks i wasn't tripping my gym will literally fit in the lobby i mean look at this fucking building homie like bro there's enough there's so much shit in here they're actually closed right now for signing up so i gotta come back so i'm gonna run home and eat real quick and then come back and sign up figure out how to cancel my other gym membership because i think it's kind of fucked up like i signed up for anytime fitness in colorado i checked out that gym when i came here i went to the closest one by default that that gym sucks so i shouldn't be bound to a contract for something i didn't sign up for you know what i mean so we're gonna find out either way yeah new gym is hype i love it other than that, good morning, work out, and we're gonna go home. And we're gonna get some food. We're gonna get our day started. Get this drawing on. Get our drawing going, you know what I'm saying? Good morning. I do not know where we left off yesterday. I know I was starving all day long. The amount of food I ate yesterday, I had to go over my calories, but in volume, was incredible. So incredible that I couldn't hit my calories and I had to hit Shake Shack at like 8.30 because I was like, dude, there's no way that I can even possibly eat another like huge, massive meal. So Shake Shack last night, we got weed. Uh, this morning I'm down another half pound. So it doesn't matter what you eat really, as long as it's in your calories, I don't care what anyone says. Sprouts be sprouting, son. I'm going to harvest my sprouts real quick. I'm gonna eat a little bit of some breakfast and we're gonna go head to the new gym. We signed up yesterday. We got Alex signed up yesterday. She's gonna take Pilates and I'm gonna show her how to lift weights because she says she wants to, but you know how that shit goes. Yeah, so this morning I'm going for an upper body workout. It's the weekends coming up and then it's just uh, paint time all weekend basically. I've been preparing for drops and shit all week and doing busy work and figuring out King Kong, which is definitely not coming out now. It's just too hard, it's too impossible. I can't, I can't justify it. So, prints only. That's what we're doing. Stickers. I, I don't think anything else. All right, I'll harvest these sprouts. It's a lot of sprouts, and I'm excited. And then the seeds are gonna come to the top, and you're gonna scrape the seeds up. Boy, early morning, early morning foraging, son. This is what we do. It's Halloween this weekend and you know the whole motto is, the motto is trick-or-treat and I don't know if you can see behind me But there's people with Trump signs in their yard and you know those of you who know me I don't get involved, but I do think that the funnier part of a trick would be to switch everybody's signs out and You got Trump's over here. You got Biden's over there. You wake up tomorrow with a different sign in your yard Would you even notice you know do you think people wake up and check their Trump signs in the morning? I think I might do a Halloween night. It might be fun move some signs around you know what i mean just signs oh, shoot me actually they might shoot me but it's for the vlog 
Who you know it make the freshman list? Still rapping like you fresh out. Have you ever caught chills thinking about bells? Boy, I've been stressed out. These niggas ain't fucking with me. I can say that shit with my chest now. I can care less who the best out. Just as long as all the checks check out. Gym over with. We're done. Sprouts. Still caring. I know you really care. Breakfast. We're about to make it. Eggs. It's the same. It's the English muffin joint. We're making eggs and English muffins. Don't even gotta show you. You already know. I'm getting to work. It's Friday, which means I need to edit. I'm gonna do some emailing, some editing, some living. I don't know what else. That's pretty much it. I got the weekend to do art. It's an art weekend. It's Halloween. I'm gonna probably tattoo Alec. My tattoo schedule is open for November, so if you want to get tattooed, teddytattooMe at gmail.com. Yeah, I think that's the week. I mean, it's been a good week. My, I've been busy. It's been a little stressful, like behind the scenes with the drop, the King Kong, and all this, trying to figure everything out. But we're doing stuff, you know? It's just how it is. Plans, they get broken, they get changed, they get altered. People pivot for a reason. It's a move in sports for a reason, so pivot. And I feel good. I feel really good with all this energy, with the extra calories and the working out. And I really don't have any complaints other than just like the outside world. All that shit sucks, but nothing I can do. So I'm gonna do something about my breakfast. Dogs just chilling in the cut. Friday, Friday vibing. Everybody went on their walks. That's pretty much the week. Bike rides this weekend. Next two days are just gonna be bike rides. Podcast on Monday. Ernie is actually in Pennsylvania shooting Rack's wedding right now in a rented car that does not have power locks or power windows, which, you know, they exist. It's all good, but most people don't rent them. There's a lot of things we could talk shit about. But we're focused on ourselves. We don't have that much time. We get our jokes off on Twitter. We're not going to go into it. I talked about it on the podcast, like what I'm doing, what's happening, if I'm on a diet. I'm not on a diet, so to speak. You know, it's, I guess, in context to how people normally eat, which should probably not be normal, consider it a diet. But all I'm doing is tracking my calories, trying to hit certain macronutrients, which takes a backseat to just getting the right amount of calories. I'm not restricting my foods either. You know what I mean? Like if I want Snickers bar, Pop-Tart, whatever, you know, I just eat and just work it into my fucking calories for the day, macros for the day, whatever, however deep you want to get into. I like doing the macro part. Just This whole thing feels like a game. If I can make it a game and still re real life results, it's really fun. Right now, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm losing weight too fast, which means I'm losing muscle and fat. So we're upping my calories. Basically find out where I'll start stalling. You know, like how many calories I can eat and stall. Probably eat at that for a while lift a lot and then kind of start tweaking calories down but what we really want to do is build up a really strong base so that we're not just cutting you know most people when they go on a diet or start doing fitness they restrict their calories and then they just start doing a fuckload of cardio and a fuckload of weight and, and as much weightlifting as possible if they get that far which is basically what i've been doing even though i know it's not gonna give me the outcome that i want like the last thing i want to do is just burn off a bunch of weight and have it be muscle and fat, you know, have my calories down to like 1900 a day, starving and being miserable. Cause I did that before. That's what I did when I was a bodybuilder back in the day. But really my bodybuilding was me just getting skinny as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Towards the end of that, I started doing like compound Olympic lifts and put on some size, started eating like shit. And then I, you know, you see me in the form that I am today. So I'm pretty excited. It's been like 12, 13, 14 years since I've done this, seriously done it. You know, it always runs sort of a timed ketogenic diet or I was definitely on like a low carb spectrum you know which isn't really like that fun for me all the time it's fun sometimes I can do it but it's not sustainable for life what you can you do for life and get in control of your body so that you know what's going on like taking all the doubt out of everything taking all the guesswork out of everything why not know how many fucking grams of carbohydrates protein and fat you're eating like why not track it what what harm it, it takes like literally a couple of minutes most of my food has to sit for a second and cool off it takes a couple of minutes to open up an app and do it carbon is the app that i use they have a coaching aspect basically where i pretty much got the idea is like yeah i'm not eating enough you know because the app will even tell you like you need to up your calories because the people who created that app well i know lane norton has something to do with it who the two guys who i'm following the most right now lane norton who i've followed for years i did online coaching with him 12 years ago or so he's actually who helped me put on some size 
But I wasn't committed. I mean, if you could see our old emails back and forth, you'll see I wasn't committed to diet at all. Trying to make excuses, and I was just burnt out over the whole thing. So Greg, du Greg Doucette and Greg Doucette's recipes and cookbooks are super helpful. You can fill yourself up on a large amount of food with small calories. So it's really, it's really great. But right now, I'm eating a lot of calories, so I can throw a fucking bunch of extra shit in there if I want to. You know, if I want to use real cheese, I can use real cheese right now. Later on, when I restrict calories down further, if I have to do that, we may even get up to fucking more, you know, it may, my maintenance might be at 5,000 right now with everything I'm doing. You know, I just want to make sure I get up to a point where I'm maintaining and not just like obsessed with losing weight. But I couldn't sit here and explain all this to you in one short video. If you want to look more into it, reverse dieting, flexible dieting, calories in, calories out. You know, a lot of people go with the fucking keto and all this. And I understand like I, when I first got into bodybuilding, I was calories in calories out got turned on to keto by dudes on steroids went down that path and i totally get it but that ultimately is the path that burned me out and i'm just kind of hoping that uh this long pause <laughs> seems to be a pattern in my life where i take these long pauses for my interest but and, and then circle back around but this long pause i think and coming back around and having like a goal is going to be pretty fun and just like the life has changed so much that now i can be home I'm super blessed that i get to create art for a living and make art from here and i need to like refocus uh and make sure I'm taking advantage of my situation because it gives me a peace of mind. It gives me a peace of mind to know how much I'm eating. Even if I overeat, even though I eat more calories than I'm supposed to, at least I'll know. And knowing is motherfucking half the goddamn battle, son.